Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at XTix Linux OS, a very interesting distribution and one I think y'all might like. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like what the channel's doing and you like the videos, you can support us by buying us a cup of coffee or better yet, becoming a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links will be in the description below. First thing we're going to do is zip on over to their website, which is xtix.se. I'll be sure to include that link in the description below. And you've got a manual and you've got a PDF manual right here. You can look at that or you can download it so that way you've got it. Should you have any questions or should you might need to look something up. If you scroll down, it's got about Xton Linux, contact, download, and then of course Xton Android and then USB install. If we come down a little bit further, this is their announcement about XTix 21.11, the ultimate Linux system. It's actually based on Ubuntu's 22.04 LTS. So they're basing their operating system on something that's not even in beta yet. It's got the LXQT desktop environment, and we're looking at a snapshot that has kernel 5.14.12. And if you scroll down, it's got some other information you might be interested in. So it's a pretty straightforward Website, nothing flashy, just base information that you need or base information that you might want. So what we're going to do is go ahead and close out of the website. And if you download it, throw it on a USB, put it in a virtual machine and boot it up. This is the screen you're met with. You've got one panel. It's on the bottom. And if you right click on the desktop, you get create new, paste, invert, hide desktop items, create launcher, desktop preferences. Let's go ahead and check that out. And you've got your general preferences right here. Icon size, label text, spacing. Of course, you can adjust the background. I kind of like the one that's there, but let's see what else they might have. It looks like they have some pretty cool looking backgrounds. Let's just change to this one, see what that might look like. And there's a different background. I like that. So I'm just going to leave that up. That's different. And then you've got a slideshow. If you have a folder that has specific wallpapers in it, you want it to put on your system. All you got to do is go in here, enable it, go over here to browse and point it to that folder, and then advanced. If you want icons on your desktop, you can click home, trash, computer, network, and then you could apply and they would all be over here. Or if they're there and you don't want them there, just come over, uncheck, and apply, and of course they'll disappear. So we will close out of that. We come down to the panel. On the right hand side, you've got power, you got date and time, you got your USB, you got notifications. If you bring those up, just tells you when I booted in, it went to default monitor settings. Then you've got clipboard, US keyboard. And then, of course, if you right click on the panel, you can lock it, add a new panel, manage your widgets, configure your panel. Let's go to configure. Now, if you wanted to make your panel a little bit bigger, you could do that here if you wanted. You could go up. As you can see, the panel starting to get bigger on the bottom. And then if you wanted to adjust your icon size as well. And then alignment, you can align it to the left, center, right, position, bottom of the desktop. If you wanted to take it to the top, you just click, it automatically moves. You can pretty much put it right, left, anywhere you want it. I'll go ahead and put it back on the bottom. And then font colors, you can change, background images, and then widgets. You can add widgets down here to your panel if you would like. That's up to you. You can set that and adjust that to your preferences. Let's go ahead and close out of that. Come down to the left side of the panel. We've got file manager. Let's go ahead and open up that. That should be PC man, which it is. It's just a nice little file manager. Let you get things done. Stays out of your way. You've got your usual suspects over here. And then of course your home folders here. You can change that to an icon view or a list view or a list with details. I'm going to go ahead and do the smaller icons. And then of course up here, you've got which directory you're presently looking at. We are on the home directory. Let's go ahead and flip it to live. And it shows us that. This should be PC Man File Manager, like I said, and it is PC Man FM QT version 0 0.17.0. Just a good solid file manager. Let's go ahead and close out of that. Come back down to the bottom. We've got Terminal. Let's go ahead and open that up. Let's go ahead and see if they have HTOP installed out of the box. They do not. Let's see if they have top. And they do. At present, I have two gigabytes of memory issued to this machine. We are presently using 398. This is lightweight, guys. If you've got newer hardware, but it's got lower specs, you put this on it, you're going to fly. And if you've got high specs, it'll really fly. 
And then, of course, if you've got older hardware and you need to get things done and you want to reuse that older hardware, you put this on it and it will perform quite well. So we'll go ahead and close out of that. Come back down. We've got Firefox. You've got the Refractor installer. You've got GIMP installed out of the box. And then, of course, Synaptic Package Manager. Let's go ahead and move Synaptic over. Let's go ahead and maximize it. Now, right here, this is where you're going to come if you want to download applications and software. Right here, it gives you a list of all. Down here, you've got sections, status, origin, custom filters, search results, architecture, and then, of course, certain categories. For video software, you can click there, and it will show you what you might have already installed or what you need to install. And then, of course, if you wanted to, just come up here, do a search, put in the specific app or software you're looking for, search. When it comes up, just mark it for installation. Once it's marked, come up here, click apply, and you'd be able to install it on your system. So let's go ahead and close out of Synaptic. Still one of my favorite managers for software and applications. Let's come down here to the XTix app launcher. And you've got accessories. You've got Arc, Emacs, Emacs Terminal, Featherpad, which is a good text editor, Clipper, Graphics. You've got GIMP installed out of the box, LX Image, Screenshot, Internet. You've got Firefox, Programming, Emacs. You've got Pulse Audio Volume Control, System Tools, Refracta Installer, Refracta Snapshot, QPS, Gparted, Preferences, LXQT Settings. Let's take a look at that. And your Configuration Center pops up. You've got Appearance, Brightness, Desktop, Desktop Notifications, File Associations, Power Management, Monitor Settings, Synaptic, which we just looked at, Window Manager, Window Manager Tweaks, and then Workspaces. If you wanted to adjust anything on your desktop or in your operating system, this is the place you would want to come do that. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Back down to the App Manager, About LXQT. Let's go ahead and pull that up. It's version 0.17.0, and it gives you the author's translations, technical info, and about, of course, so let's close out of that. Back down to the bottom. Then you've got leave and lock screen. That, in a nutshell, is what XTIC Linux is. It's a really smooth, lightweight operating system. If you're somebody that's looking for something that you can put on a lower spec machine or an older machine, XTIC Linux is definitely something to look at. I will say this, it is being based on the 22.04, not even in beta yet, Ubuntu LTS that they're working on. So you got to take that into mind. If you're wanting to use this as a daily driver, you might have some bugs you need to work through. But let me know what you think. Is this something that you might download, throw in a USB and put in a virtual machine and give it a test drive? Let me know in the comments below. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and you like the videos that we're doing, you can support us by buying us a cup of coffee, or you can become a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links will be in the description below. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.